I welcome everyone to this presentation. My name is David Hook and I'm with the Vision for Robotics lab at ETH Zurich. Today I will be talking about our most recent work, Continuous Time Stereo Inertial Odometry. I would like to start this talk by pointing out several key differences between conventional discrete time slam methods and our proposed continuous time approach. In particular, most conventional approaches estimate their ego motion over a discrete set of motion parametrizing states. These states are commonly estimated from geometric information about the surrounding environment, so-called visual landmarks. Many established approaches further consider additional inertial information to better constrain the mathematical problem and boost the overall accuracy of the achieved estimates. Two examples of algorithms operating in the discrete time realm are presented here, namely Orchlam on the left and Vince Fusion on the right. These frameworks achieve reliable and robust motion estimates in stereo and stereo inertial configurations, but also fall short of addressing sensor fusion in a more general and generic manner. This circumstance can largely be attributed to one of the inherent properties of discrete time approaches, which is that the motion between discrete state estimates is a priori undetermined. As a consequence, all incoming sensory measurements must be synchronized to common timestamps, also entailing that asynchronous measurements cannot be fused in such manner. This becomes especially relevant in applications where measurements cannot be trivially synchronized to common timestamps, like rolling shutter camera setups and asynchronous feature tracking in event-based vision. In particular, Individual scan lines of rolling shutter cameras have different associated timestamps and updated information about event-driven feature tracks can even occur at arbitrary instances in time. These drawbacks can be alleviated by parametrizing the motion estimate as a continuous time function, which can be queried at arbitrary times, and allows us to fuse unsynchronized measurements in a generic manner. In addition, Continuous time parameterizations also expose analytic derivatives to compute instantaneous angular velocities and linear accelerations, enabling us to directly fuse individual inertial measurements without pre-integration. Based on this idea, in this work, we use uniform cubic V-splines to parameterize our motion estimates and formulate the continuous time slam problem as a non-linear least squares optimization. In contrast to previous works, which posed this problem as an offline batch optimization, we treat it as an online continuous time sliding window minimization, illustrated on the left. Compared to conventional approaches, the most striking difference lies with the denser interconnections between motion parametrizing states. Aside from the continuous time parametrization itself, our pipeline follows the established KLT approach to extract and track visual cues in the image streams and exploits analytically computed instantaneous velocities and accelerations to directly fuse individual inertial measurements. Ultimately, the resulting output is the optimized continuous time motion estimate. We verified our approach on two established datasets, namely Kitty and Europe. The Kitty datasets was recorded in large-scale outdoor environments and provides rectified stereo images along with additional ground truth information. In contrast, the Europe dataset focuses on both large and small-scale indoor environments and additionally provides inertial measurements. Based on these datasets, we evaluated our approach in the stereo and stereo-inertial configuration. Owing to the absence of other directly comparable online continuous time frameworks, we initially benchmarked our approach, coined Hyperslam, against conventional state-of-the-art discrete time approaches in the stereo and stereo inertial setups. On the Kitty dataset, we compared Hyperslam against Vince Fusion and Orbslam, achieving competitive results. In particular, our approach achieves better RMSEs and lower drift than Vince Fusion 
and performs on par in terms of drift over medium distances against Ort Slam. We obtained similar results in the stereo inertial setup on the UROC dataset, where we also compared against Ogvis. On UROC, our approach consistently outperforms Wind's Fusion and performs on par with Ogvis in terms of overall RMSE, as well as in terms of drift. Compared to Orslam, we achieve lower drift over short distances. In addition to the previous conventional sensor setups, we also evaluated HyperSlam in a more experimental and asynchronous setup which classical approaches are unable to handle. In particular, we modified the stereo setup to allow incomplete stereo frames to be integrated into the continuous time optimization, which was achieved by dropping images from the stereo image stream. One of the major benefits of the presented continuous time approach lies with the circumstance that it is completely agnostic to this type of change. In fact, no modifications to the pipeline were required to support this kind of asynchronous operation. Despite significantly less visual information, the achieved RMSEs only dropped by 20 and 13% in the stereo-like and stereo-inertial-like setup respectively. In conclusion, our approach presents means to fuse generic asynchronous sensor inputs at a competitive accuracy to established discrete time methods. In addition, our work also provides a direct cross-comparison between continuous and discrete time approaches in real-world online experiments for the first time. Lastly, all associated implementations are made available as a modular open-source framework on GitHub.